moment. My name is Nina Demian. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. What incredible speakers we've already had. Learned a ton. Um, I want to start off with just a bit of introduction, just so that you know why I'm here or how I got here, rather. I used to work for the nonprofit sector for about 15 years, and I worked for immigration organizations. I worked for community health clinics, and I've worked for education organizations. So I'm very familiar with the nonprofits. I made a career transition and decided to actually work with startups. So right now, I'm actually a startup advisor with one of the largest incubators across Canada. We get to see 1,400 startups every single year. So these are startups specifically in and around technology. And a lot of times the technology that I'm working with as a startup as advisor, they're social impact organizations. There are folks who are basically trying to provide opportunities for community to elevate itself and essentially and community organizations to leverage some really interesting technology rather than build it, perhaps buy it. And so I get to work with some incredible organization startups all the time. So that's my building right there in the back. It's this funky building in the middle of downtown Calgary, platform Calgary, called the front door to innovation. We've got this pitch stage that we have. So I get to see a lot of pitches and a lot of demo days. It's an absolutely incredible leech electric environment to be a part of. And so having my background in the nonprofit sector, I started to realize one thing as someone who's, I love technology. I love leveraging technology. I started to realize that there was just huge problems in the nonprofit sector. And this particular problem is how to leverage technology. And I'm so glad that there's such a brilliant people on this call. But essentially for me as a nonprofit employee, I was basically having to navigate their tech training labyrinth. If I wanted to upskill myself, I'd have to go through a lot of training and I didn't know which way to go, especially in the nonprofit sector, you wear so many different hats. It's like, where do I really need to focus my energy? I was a fund developer. So of course I focused a lot on development, but I really wanted to use innovative tools. Then there's also an option of traditional software and the traditional software usually comes at a cost because it's extremely expensive. And sometimes, especially with smaller nonprofits, it doesn't really meet what you need. And so there are modern startup solutions, and that's basically what I'm here to hopefully provide you with an opportunity to think outside the box. You've got the build option and you've got the buy option. A lot of times in the buy option, you don't really consider startups as your potential place in which you can actually purchase, but I want to make a case for this. It's modern and responsive. So essentially it's really the most innovative stuff that's coming out of these startups are absolutely incredible and it really meets the needs of community, then it's cost-effective and way cheaper than traditional software. And it's advanced. It's basically rather than you trying to figure out how AI works or trying to ensure that you've got uh, integration, they basically do it for you. And of course, they work with you very closely. It's one of the key things about startups is that they're really committed to you and your success. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples. And I don't know what my, oh, there it is, 150. Two examples, need. It's called Need Technologies. This is a startup that I work with that I'm very proud to actually share amongst. Need Technology was basically built specifically for food rescue. So as grocery stores or restaurants have food at the end of the day, what ends up happening with that food, unfortunately, goes directly into the dump. And so Need has, is a, a technical tool. It's a logistics tool like Uber, but specifically for the food rescue space where they rescue the food and then provide it to the nonprofit sector. Absolutely brilliant. Another one is communal. I'm very lucky to be working with this particular startup that really alleviates the pressure on community associations that are usually extremely under-resourced in order to have, help them gain access to things like simple things like membership, simple things like booking a tennis court or a pickleball court. These things are so much more advanced once you actually leverage some of these technologies. And I'm not here as a startup advisor. I have no horse in this race. I don't have any shares. So those are two that I'm very proud of. And I wanted to show you as examples. And of course, I really would love for you to spread the word about what they're trying to do. They're across Canada. They're doing really wonderful work. So they're really proven. I also wanted to have an honorable mention. I've got 34 seconds left. Tibby and Marmot Benefits. Marmot Benefits would be extremely beneficial to a lot of nonprofits. I would highly recommend you do a little bit of research on them. Kibi is a settlement agency app that is absolutely revolutionizing settlement agencies. So that's the reason why I'm here today is to share with you, want to make big impact, use newer technologies 